Hey guys, Greg Lynch, Durham PA here. We can see here we have quite a large dilated pore of Weiner, they're called. A little cyst there right at the surface. And you can see that oxidized um, kind of top to it. It turns black where it hits oxygen. So what we're gonna do is loosen this up and we should be able to kind of uh, pull this out. Sometimes I'll do a little elliptical cut and put stitches in. If the pocket's relatively shallow, um, we just cauterize and that will stop it from regrowing. So I'm gonna number up and then we'll kind of push that out and see what it looks like underneath. And that should kind of close up with cautery. So we'll get that um, taken care of for today. And thanks to her for sharing her procedure so we can see how to properly remove a large blackhead. Okay guys, we have the dilated pore whiner, nice and numb here. And we are just going to scrape the skin at the edge here, just to open that up on each side here, because that's what's holding on to it. Kind of like an episiotomy we talked about before. <laughs> and we can take some Q-tips here on each side. And we're just going to gently put some downward pressure here. Just like that. And we can see that oxidized kind of nugget right at the surface. That's coming out nice. Shouldn't have any pain. There we go. Yeah, you can kind of see that dried up contents there. So that's just the top of a cyst here, basically. Um, you can see that as it gets, as it goes down, you can kind of see the little cyst particles and it gets mushy and soft. You can see that down there. Now I'll, I'm going to curette this out and scrape it. And then most likely we'll just do some cautery and that will kind of tighten that up into a little scab. It looks pretty shallow, but we're going to see what we can get with the curette. So you can see we can get in here since she's numb and we can really scrape some of these contents out. Just kind of dead skin there. Yeah, you know, it might. Let's see how much we're going to get out here. Yeah, it doesn't go that deep. That's just a big dilated pore there. We're getting all these little contents. Just little dead skin particles, cyst particles at the bottom. I'll make sure it doesn't go all that deep. Yeah, you know, it might be worth doing just a punch. <laughs> I can see it does go kind of deep, and I don't want her to have a big opening there, kind of leaking. So we already have her numb. I'm going to do a little punch here and just two or three little stitches, and it'll close that hole for her because the depth of that is going to be hard for it to close on its own with just cautery. So let me just get that. Um, we can do eight millimeter. With the foro? Yep, just foro. It's fine. That way it'll close the whole four so she not have to worry about it. <laughs> and see, here's the contents we got out of there, right over here. And that's just cyst particles um, that were below that little nugget there. Which was right here. And that's just a dried out cyst that was too close to the surface. And that pocket is deep enough that I was just going to try and cauterize, which you can do sometimes and it stops it from regrowing. But she'd have a little opening there. Dead skin would eventually refill it. So I can just punch that and close that hole and get the bottom of where that sack was out for her so it doesn't come back. That'll be good. Okay, so you can see eight millimeters here. I'm gonna pull this up like this to get a nice ellipse. Come straight down on it. She shouldn't have any pain, just a little pressure. Very good. Yeah, we might as well, just to make sure. 
You can see here I got under where that sac was, that dilated pore. Tease that out. And that did go down a little way, so that was definitely worth doing. And that's why I numbed her too. So that's the bottom of the sack. You can see it goes down almost a centimeter. And you can see here, we open that pocket up. You could poke right through the bottom there. So that was the whole cyst sack right here. Just under eight millimeters, punched out perfectly. Looks like a little coin purse. <laughs> we call it the coin purse blackhead. simple interrupted and we have about a one centimeter closure there so that is good and that will never come back now No pain, doing okay? <laughs> Good, didn't feel anything. Good. The coin purse depot, the lead poor one. And then we'll do the end here. Anytime we do an eight millimeter punch, um, it's a circle trying to close. So sometimes you'll get a little dog ear like this at the end. So I don't leave those. We just make a little cut. You can see this little triangle folds over right there. And you just cut that at the base. And you get that little dog ear off of there. And then it closes flat. So that's good. Do that on the other side as well. Cut the edge. Take that little triangle. Cut straight across just like that. So that'll flat, nice flat uh, scar that'll leave. Put a little pressure bandage on there and then just two stitches. Um, she'll get out, we'll go 10 to 14 days there and that will be nice. That whole thing is gone and that'll never come back. So Thank thanks to her for sharing. Thanks for popping by. That was a pretty standard punch removal. <laughs> she did great. Have a good day. Hey guys, Mr. Popsit here. If you like what you just saw, make sure to pop all the buttons. See you soon.